Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. In the previous video, we started discussing CSS flexbox concept. We understood flex container related properties. In this video, I would like to discuss CSS flex item properties. We understand properties related to flex items guys. So let's get started. I minimize it. Here at the desktop, I have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to CSS properties demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page. Say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. Let me go to notepad. Here I am going to create a div. I say opening div and closing div. I am going to set its ID of container. C O N T A I N E R. Inside that, I am going to create some child divs. I say opening div, closing div. I am going to say here div 1. I copy this div and paste two times. 1, 2. Here I say div 2. Here I say div 3. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div 1, div 2, div 3 are getting displayed one below another. I want to display this div 1, div 2, div 3 one beside another. In the previous video tutorial, we understood that we have to convert the parent to a flex container then automatically the inner elements are considered as flex items and they are placed one beside another and by default flex items are vertically stretched right let's write some css code here i say opening style tag and closing style tag and then i say here type is equals to text or css then i select all the html elements and remove the margin and padding. I say here margin of 0 pixels, then padding of 0 pixels. Also, I am going to say box sizing of border dash box semicolon. Next, I select the container view. I say hash container c o n t a i n e r container opening floor bracket closing floor bracket. I am going to set a border of 1 px solid black. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see that the container got a 1px solid black border. I am going to apply some border to the inner elements. I am going to copy this line of code and paste here. Inside divs should have border of 1px solid red semicolon. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, div1, div2, div3 got red border you can see that now i go to the container div and say here display of flex when i say display flex this div is considered as a flex container and inner elements are considered as flex items we know that flex items are placed one beside another and they are by default vertically stretched if i say file save go to browser and reload you can see div1, div2, div3 are now getting displayed one beside another and they are by default vertically stretched. Just to prove that, here I say minimum dash height, h e i g h t height of 100 pixels. So container is going to have 100 pixels height, file, save, go to browser and reload. You can see div1, div2, div3 are by default vertically stretched. Let's understand flex item related properties. We have align dash self property with values stretch, flex start, center, flex end. Align self is used to vertically align individual items. Vertically align individual items. We know that on the container, if I use align dash items, by default it is set to stretch, S T R E T C H. So this code applies the stretch behavior on all the flex items if i say file save go to browser and reload by default all the flex items are stretched whereas if i say here flex dash start if i say file save go to browser and reload all the flex items are vertically aligned top if i say here c e n t e r center file save go to browser and reload all the flex items are vertically center aligned. They are at middle, right? If I say here, flex-end, if I say file, 
save, go to browser and reload, all the flex items are bottom aligned. You can see that. But I don't want that. What I want, I want only div 1 should be top aligned, div 2 should be middle aligned, and div 3 should be bottom aligned. For that, we take help of align self. Align self is used to vertically align individual flex items, guys. Very simple. I am going to remove this. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, all the flex items are by default stretched. We know that. Now, individual flex items. We are going to apply style. Here I am going to give ID of div1. Here I say ID of div2. Here I give an ID of div3. Then I come here say hash div1. Hash div1 should have align dash self flex dash start. Now what happens only div1 is going to be vertically aligned top guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div1 is vertically top aligned. I go back, copy this code and paste here. Div2 should be center aligned. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div2 is vertically middle aligned. And then I copy this code and paste down, say here div3 should be bottom aligned flex dash end. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div3 is bottom aligned. So individually, we can vertically align the elements guys using align dash self property. Next we have order property. Order property is used to customize the display order of individual elements. Is used to control the display order of individual elements. Let me explain it more clearly. I am going to remove this align self property, align self property, align self property. I am going to remove from div3 also. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, all are by default vertically stretched. You can see that div1, div2, div3 are getting displayed from left to right. Consider I want to display div3 should be first, then div2, then div1. For that, we take help of order property. Here I say order of 3 because div1 should be displayed at last. Then I say here order of 2, div2 should be displayed in the middle and order of 1, div3 should be displayed in the beginning. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div3 is getting displayed in the beginning, then div2, then div1. So that is the use of order property. It is used to control the display order of individual elements guys. Next we have flex grow flex shrink property. Flex grow flex shrink properties used to define how an individual element grows or shrinks. How an individual element grows and shrinks you just need to use the number as a value. Let's understand more clearly. I am going to delete the order property. I delete the order property. I delete the order property. Here I am going to say first flex dash grow value 1, copy that, paste down, paste down. Here 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio we have. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, all of them are getting the same space. You can see that they are having equal width. If I say div 3 should have double space, right? Should have double width compared to these two. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div1 and div2 are occupying 25-25% width, div3 is occupying 50% width, right? So that is how you can use the flex grow. Let's understand flex shrink property, okay? Let me delete this from here. Let me delete this. Let me delete this. If I save, come back and reload. Here we have div1, div2, div3. Let me set the div1 is going to have width of 200 pixels. Copy that. Div2 also going to have 200 pixels width. Div3 is also going to have 200 pixels width. If I say file, save, go to browser and reload, you can see div1, div2, div3 are having 200, 200, 200 pixel width. If I reduce the size, you can see that they are shrinking equally. 
you can see they are shrinking equally what if i say this div3 should be shrinked more faster it should shrink more faster so here i use flex dash shrink property flex shrink with a value of let's say 1 i copy this i say this flex shrink 1 here i say flex shrink let's say 5 times faster it should shrink if i save come here and reload now you see div3 is going to shrink more faster as i reduce the size here you can see that div3 is shrinking more faster than div1 and div2 are shrinking you can see that right so that is about flex shrink property how it is used guys so flex is grow and flex shrink properties are used to define how an individual element grows or shrinks so flex grow you can use to horizontally stretch the individual element right next we have flex basis property it is used to set the base width of flex items flex basis property is used to set base width of flex item in percentage we can define so i delete this i delete this i delete this file save go to browser and reload you can see now what i do i go here and let's say div1 should have flex dash basis it should occupy 25 percent width of the parent i copy this paste here it should also occupy 25 percent width whereas third div should occupy 50 percent width if i say file save go to browser and reload you can see div1 is occupied 25 percent width div2 25 percent div3 50 percent width guys. so that is the use of flex basis property we use on individual items so that is the reason all these properties are considered as flex item related properties guys i hope you guys have clearly understood all the flex item related properties i suggest you people to try everything yourself if you try you get more clear idea experiment guys if you experiment you get more idea if you have any doubts do not hesitate to ask in the comment section for this video tutorial this much is enough guys in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about css if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much See you in the next tutorial.